don't judge anyone. You don't know who the next person could be. Tyler Perry was homeless. Jay Leno was homeless. You don't know who the next one's going to be. That person sleeping on the street that you just made fun of, that asked for a dollar, that dollar might have saved that man's life. And you want to mock him. You don't know his story. You don't know if it was like me. I'm not a junkie. I didn't beat anybody. I didn't go to jail or prison. I got sick. You know, you don't know someone's wow. story until you encounter it. Never judge anybody. I myself am guilty of it. And these right here, you see someone pushing one of these? Don't look down on them. Fill it with something. They got it for a reason. That whole car is their life right there. Don't judge them because they ain't got it. Judge them because they need more. Judge positively. Quit looking down on people. Life for me was normal. I worked a factory job, nine to five, slaved away, um, went to the hospital for an anxiety attack one day. They said I had MRSA. I went quarantined for 10 days, went blind, completely blind in both eyes, had optic neuritis twice. I um, went totally black for seven days. Um, they put me in a nursing home in Little Rock, UMS, and I was there for a year. I, wheelchair walker slowly got my sight back i'm still blind in both eyes permanent damage to my optic nerves i don't see like i got blind spots my colors are different but it's i give it credit to my art too because i don't see like everybody else so my my colors are more vibrant and i bring out this green but trendy stuff i don't follow right now low contrast pastels i don't do that i want i want to grab attention i want people to feel my art I don't want to be like, oh, that looks cool. I want someone to say, wow, look at that. The best compliment I ever got was from Robert Turner's mom. There's a picture of the Vernon Amy. She said it was soul stirring. And it was a silhouette with just the clouds above it. And called it soul stirring. And I mean, he got released from a nursing home to the streets. I mean, had no one. My girlfriend, five and a half years, left me for her boss. Lost everything I had and was released to the streets. And found photography just started taking pictures one day and never looked back that was last march when i got to tulsa i didn't know anybody um, i'm from fort smith and i was brought here released here knew no terrified me terrified I'm, I'm bipolar i have anxiety issues i have no family really knew no one up here and just here you are here's the streets here's the salvation army have fun good luck and did that for a little bit luckily met Amy, fell in love with Amy. She was what started the photography. Just one night, out of boredom, started taking pictures of her and born straight out of out of love, man, out of hope. Then this art that I do is not for money. It's not for recognition. It's for, it's my coat. It's my release from the streets. It helps me forget the ugliness that I'm in. The COVID goes away. When people look at my art, they go, man, I just forget my worries right now. That That's why I do it for inspiration to help people get through the hard times. Stability, um, you take walls for granted. You take showers for granted. Uh, being able to eat whenever you want, just to be able to go to a refrigerator and say, I want a sandwich, is a miracle in itself. People don't realize the luxuries of just a one bedroom apartment and a refrigerator. Being out here, you realize what you don't need tv goes away movies goes away it's more i gotta eat today am i gonna get some water how cold is it gonna be is it gonna be 110 degrees am i gonna live today you never know you don't know if someone's gonna be high as hell and snap and shoot you and walk into iron gate you just don't know so the security of having your 
own place to call home is the thing I miss the most. Um, I've become a much better human being, a much stronger man. I, you have to face fears out here. If you don't, you crumble. You have no choice, but to, it, it's dog eat dog. It really is. And if you, you can either let it kill you or you can succeed. And I'm not, I'm not gonna let this art die. I'm not gonna let my passion go away because I'm not where I want to be. I'll be where I want to be. I will, I will get to the place where I need to be and I will still be able to motivate people to inspire and to drive a new generation of artists that have a brand new outlook on life. Um, you get overlooked a lot. Mm. I, I've spent hours just walking around downtown mm. practicing shot after shot after shot. And people go, oh, crazy guy. Well, oh well, think I'm crazy, but I'll see you in the gallery in a couple of months. I bet you know my name by the end of the year. Uh, Amy's favorite meme we've ever seen was they hating, but they taking notes. <laughs> um, before before I was even in Tulsa, I had an international following. I have, I've had professional guys 30, 30 years following me, endorsing me. This didn't start in Tulsa. This started in Belgium. This started in France with career-long guys that have been supporting me and following me from the beginning. Oh, you said you were overlooked how, you know, when people find, find out you're a homeless artist, then they start to, you know, think differently. Talk about how, Com how Completely that. turned. Overnight. Um, I had told a few of my good people that supported me, like Adam Koloff has been great. Loretta Hubbard has been great. I had told them they knew. And then one day, um, a fan of mine, Dewana Belcher, said, Jeff, you need to put the the streets out there show them the real art of Tulsa go experience it with your camera I was like hold on I got that already and I just started putting black and whites out there people sleeping on the streets I did a photo shoot with Amy and Julio of digging in dumpsters in front of City Hall show them what it's really like and people were for one day I got support oh it's so much be so hard the next day nothing people unfriended me getting denials from galleries that I had support from solely because I wasn't a nine to five or I didn't come from money it was just because I was homeless just because of that stigma they did not care about the art anymore they just cared about what they could sell it's, it's high school you know and it doesn't belong it, that's not what art is about art is about conveying emotion and pride and feeling to stir something within somebody when you read a book you don't go oh, well that was good entertainment You're like man that was fantastic you get pumped that's what i want to bring back we don't need the internet and tv take one of my pictures stare at it for 20 minutes and come up with whatever you want i don't care what you think about it as long as you're thinking about it that's my point You've been through a lot and stuff to try to like stop you, but you still kept going. So, so yeah, I'm not taking what, no for an answer. Why? Why do you keep going? Because they said I couldn't do it. Tell me I ain't gonna do it. Perfect. Tell me because I'm. Tell me because I had a five megapixel government phone. I can't take pictures better. Than, I bet you I can watch it if I don't do it now. I bet I learn how to do it, and you'll be eating your words. That's why mm -hmm. you can keep it, Tulsa. Fine, you want to keep photographer. I'll be working internationally. I'll be. I'll be in. Shropshire United Kingdom when my family taking <laughs> pictures of the air call. I believe you're not gonna hold me down. Yeah. Challenge me to do it. COVID be damned. <laughs> I don't care. I am gonna prosper and I will thrive through this. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take no. I believe. What do you want to be remembered for? The guy that brought back inspiration. Um I've had that from multiple people. I almost gave up art until I saw your work and it gave me inspiration oh, wow. to pick up a brush again. Yeah. It made me cry. It made me it made me feel. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just feel. People have become complacent with everything. They don't know emotion anymore. It's mundane grinding every day. So if I can bring back maybe a childhood memory for Ooh. someone that they forgot about, be like, oh, I remember That's awesome. that warm, fuzzy feeling. That's all I want. I That's want people awesome. to experience happiness from my life. That's the whole point. Just be happy. No meaning behind it. They don't have to analyze it. It's just a pretty picture that you should feel good about looking at. Mm, that's beautiful.